You say you, you say you. Yeah, I died July 24, 2020. Uh, in an ambulance or at home or where, where, where? Oh, uh, I died in the uh, hospital. And pretty much, God gave me a second chance. And in Mark chapter five, it talks about men being unclean. Right. It talks about men being healed. It talks about uh, him finding a daughter. And well, I'm a son of uh, you know. So pretty much, I found I found this uh, female, and I fell for her. Pretty much, I wasn't I wasn't. Pretty much, I twisted uh, I twisted the truth. And it says, let's see here. And he and he said unto her, daughter, thy faith has made it. Well, Where you at, Mark? What? Um. Here. Chapter, chapter and verse. You need some light. Mark chapter five, verse thirty-three. Mark five thirty-three. Okay. No thirty-four. Thirty-four. And he said unto her daughter, Thy faith hath made her be whole. Go in peace and whole of thy play. Pretty much, we're both addicts, and well, me being an addict, I was triggered. With her being an addict, I triggered her. I didn't listen. And I pretty much that was your girlfriend. Well, we fell for each other. Right. And well, I was with a female before. I told her that I didn't want to be with her and whatnot. So I wasn't truthful with the second girl. And well, she left me yesterday. And I, I feel that that's pretty much karma getting me. I'm still, I'm still doing this research and, and whatnot. But you're still a sinner anyway, ain't you? Yes, I am. I'm an unclean yeah. spirit. Yeah. Unclean spirit trying to be saved. Yeah. But you know, uh, you say you believe in Jesus with your whole heart and soul? Yes, I do. Yeah. But you know, Jesus is a Jew. And he only came for one people. That's the Jews. Everybody else is heathens. So... They kind of left, y'all left on y'all own, you know. Unless y'all acknowledge the children of Israel. Now here's how you get your blessings. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a secret. Like the woman, uh, the Syrophoenician woman, Jesus told her he wasn't sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she, and he called her a dog. And she said, yes, Lord, but the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Since she acknowledged it, her position, and that the Jews are the chosen people, superior people. Do you do you agree with that? Because Jesus is a Jew. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and the Jews are the so-called black Americans and uh, natives. The people that took a ride on the slave ships, according to Deuteronomy 28.68. And uh, the people that are being destroyed have been... Uh, third-class citizens, such, you know, the field the jail systems, the prison systems, so on and so forth. People that are mistreated by society. People that are oppressed. So if you believe this, uh, this is scripture. So just like the Syrophoenician woman, uh, she acknowledged that she was, she was the real third class, and, you know, under them. And so uh, that's why she got that blessing for her daughter. So Christ cast that demon out of her daughter because of her acknowledgement. So do you acknowledge me as a son of God? And I am. I'm a Jew. Yes, I do. You acknowledge me superior to you? Yes, I do. As a Jew? Now, uh, how are you willing to, to show that to the Lord? Are you willing to... Are you able to get out of a wheelchair and, and do certain I things? I can, but with a walker. Oh, with I, a walker? I died July 24, 2020. Oh, yeah. I broke uh, my spine twice. fractured my ribs, my sternum. Oh, man. I broke my hip three times. Were you in car accidents or something? Hard mile an hour to a ditch. I broke my I broke my uh, hip once in the accident. Yeah. I broke it a second time putting too much weight on it, being mm -hmm. stubborn. Yeah. I broke it a third time being stubborn, not listening, and I fell out of my wheelchair. Yeah. But do you know this? Do you acknowledge that you come from the nation of Esau? Edom? Have you heard that before? Yes, I have. I'm yeah. familiar. And Edomites are cursed real the real ones who are they got to serve the children of Israel. The Bible said the elder shall serve the younger. 
So Esau came out first, your father. And uh, what he, he's going to bring you something. Uh, What's that shirt you wear? Oh, uh, 12. 12? Yeah. Thank you. They come here every night for you, basically. Now, uh, now, no. what I'm showing you is a. Uh, now, now here's further testimony. Now, now I'll help you out because you made a confession. Well, are you willing to kiss my boot for uh, for for God to bless you, just like He did that Syrophoenician woman? He cast that devil out of her daughter. And who knows? He might pull you out of his wheelchair tonight. Good, you might heal your spine tonight. So, are you willing to show faith and do this? As because the, the disciples kissing Jesus. Please. Yeah. So you I, mean, I didn't. I didn't. I tripped. Can you do that again? Okay. All right. And uh, well, that's showing humility, man. That's showing humility. Just like the uh, Syrophoenician woman. And, uh, As I said, was there for yeah. Jesus. So we're going to see what the Lord going to do for you, man, since you did that. Now, and, uh, here's a further testimony. Okay. Pretty much, I died, I died July 24, 2020. Right. Now, my mom, she died February 21st uh, this year. Now, I was only at five. How, how I'm familiar with this now, mm -hmm. when my mom died, I was in... I went to five places. Now, I took it into consideration, right? Right. My mother's house, um, my grandma's house, no, my mother's house, my best friend's house, my grandma's, the hospital, then my homie's house. When I, when I got to my homie's house, his garage had five lights. On the second day, a piece of um, um, drywall fell, and that's what brought me to uh, taking consideration. Mark chapter five. Did it fall on you? It fell on me. Man, you been having a lot, and, of, lot going at you, ain't right? And I had further knowledge. Mark, you know, Psalm twenty-two. My mother's hu husband was a Leo. Leo is a lion. I'm a tourist. Now you're getting into horoscopes. Yeah, that's witchcraft. And that's witchcraft. Tours. Tours is a bull. Psalm 25. No, 22. It talks about. That's some interesting tattoos there. It talks about how a lion and a bull entrapped. Uh huh. I'm listening. And then pretty much entrapped her. My mother, she felt trapped. Right. And the only way she felt the need uh, to get out of it is suicide. She tried three times, and on third attempt, she succeeded. She succeeded. Man. She tried. Her first attempt was right. with her 38. She fired it, and then she claimed it misfired. That's the first one. That following night. She took 440 pills. And because that many? 440 pills. And because I've we prayed. James Plastic. Is that what got her? The pills? No. She survived that? She survived that. Mark chapter. Oh no. Oh. It's all. Uh, you don't know what kind of pills they were? James 5.16. Prayers of a righteous man is most effective. I prayed for my mother. And but so but my you don't call yourself a righteous man, though, do you? I'm not, I'm not righteous. I'm not, I'm not thinking righteous. But me being righteous as her son, praying for her is what brought her back. Prayers of a righteous man. Is do you really effective. think you're righteous? I'm not righteous, but yet I'm trying to be. And I'm, I'm, still, I'm still seeking knowledge. I'm still... I'm still seeking wisdom and understanding. Don't you still smoke and drink? Because you got still, cigarette I, I, in your I, hair. I still smoke. And you still drink. I you do drugs. You say you're an addict. I am an addict. And you had a girlfriend just recently. Girlfriends. And she's an addict too. Yeah, so that means you're having sexual relations too. Every now and then, right? Yup. So that's not a righteous man. That's not, a, that's not trying to be righteous either. 
and that's that's Ralph Lowe. That's a, that's the a sinner. And that's Ralph Lowe. Yeah. And the Bible said he that continues in sin is of the devil. Uh, you know, because the devil sinned from the beginning. Furthermore, you, you come from the line of Esau, and we already uh, talked about that, that Esau doesn't get access to the kingdom of God, except as a servant. So what you just showed is that you're willing to be a servant. So I pray the Lord spare you so you can be just that, uh, a servant in the kingdom of God. That's the best it gets for Esau, since y'all had the fatness of this world. Y'all had the, the best of everything, you know, first class, you know. Y'all were the kings and the queens, you know, in this, in this realm, you know, in this generation. And so uh, y'all were not oppressed people, you yeah. know. Y'all did the oppressing, right? So that's all you got coming, buddy. Is uh, you, you, the elder shall serve the younger. That's that's your lot. That's biblical prophecy. No man can add to it nor take away from it. You know, you can only hope for a, a good slave master and not a cruel one. Like uh, you know, many of your people were cruel slave masters. You know, so that's all you got coming, but and that, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, educate black people like myself, those that don't know, tell them that they are the Jews, that they're God's chosen people. You can help out that way, you know. You help any way you can. If you got a little extra monies or whatever come your way, if you got two shirts, give them one. Two pairs of shoes, no. give them. Help these. I'm, I've only been here for about a month and a half. Yeah. When I first got here, I only had three, three outfits. You loaded now, ain't you? And I am, I'm not. When I got here, mm -hmm. so, um, an old man came up to me. He said, hey, I need a sweater. You only have three outfits? I gave him a sweater. I gave most of my clothes away when I got here. Yeah. And, well, I was really need a phone. The very following next yeah, day. Yeah, you got to do that with black people. The very following next day, a man came hey, up to me. Hey, y'all not lesbians, are you? Y'all lesbians? Uh, y'all ain't, had no, y ain't had no real good mans. That's what that is. Y'all need to get y'all some good mans. <laughs> well, this man came up to me and he asked me, to do, hey, do you need a phone? I said, yes, I do. He gave me a brand new phone and he activated it for me. Uh-huh. With me, we needed a phone. Right. He sent their blessing, some that we need something, I got blessed more. Yeah. See, that's them blessing you, but I'm telling you what you got to start doing. You got to start blessing them instead of on the receiving end. You got to be the giver. And mainly to people who look like us. You know? Because nope. we've been treated like shit. Okay? We've been the oppressed people. Okay? For over 400 years. And now, farmers catching up to the white man. Your kingdom is falling now. And ours is rising up. See, that's that's the Lord's doing. That's nope. that's written in the Bible. So, we, you're going to serve us. You know? We're rising up. Uh... As the superiors, like this king just rose up in London. What do you think of that? What do you think of him? I'm not familiar. Okay. Well, queen Elizabeth just died. I don't know if you know. I am familiar with that part. And so her son took the throne. And the, and the Bible talks about the time of the kings. The kings are going to rule. So kings are... are, are not, there's going to be a king over America. Now, whether that's Donald Trump, I don't know. Is this dude in London? I don't know yet. But uh, there's going to there's gonna be a king dictatorship rising up but for the Egyptians which are heathens the heathens they're not going to rule over the kingdom of God because the kingdom of God is rising up too just like I'm a king you see me wearing my crown and uh so it's our time too to uh to rise and shine and uh you know it's our time too and so uh and we're going to take over the kings Whatever kingdom uh, uh, anoints them a king or puts a king on their throne, we're going to take that over. These kings are going to be our footstool. We're going to put our necks, our feet on their necks. You know, just like they did us, it's got to be done to them. You know? So that's, this is 
biblical time. You can feel that in your heart, right? Yo. You, feel like you see America falling, right? Yo. Right, and it's going to keep getting worse. You remember when we had the red, uh, red moon? Yeah, remember all, all yeah. It had a series of red moons. It was it, a series it of about, uh, in, uh, Matthew, I, I believe. Yeah. That the, when we have the red moon, Jesus is going to be here soon. Right. And with us having the red moon, he's going right. to be here soon. Right. I believe. I can even tell you. chapter three. I can I can even tell you he's here now. Remember, he said he would come as a thief in the night. You know, a thief, which means a lot of people won't notice when he comes. You know, when a thief comes in, he comes and do what he got to do. So I was he, robbed he, yesterday. But, but the whole world will know uh, when he shows himself. He's here as a thief right now, but they will know when he shows himself. What was your grace say? I was, I was robbed last night, or yesterday. Yeah. A man took, a, took my... Uh, Were you in your wheelchair? I was in my... No, I was, I was sitting on the ground. Yeah. He asked me if I had any drugs. I told him, no, I ain't got no drugs. He took my empty bowl. With me being an addict, he robbed me of it. And I tried... I told him, I tried telling him, I ain't he got no... He took your uh, bowl, you Meth pipe. Oh, your meth pipe. And... Well... He, he swung at me. I didn't, I didn't fire back. I, I put him in God's hands. I ain't got to touch him. He's in God's hands. Right. Every man got to reap what he sowed. Yup. Right. But the Lord deals with nations too. You know that, right? Sometimes so, sometime he judges the nation. You know? And he still judges that nation as one man. Just like Esau. Esau was one man, but he judged your whole nation as one man just like those who are born again in Christ I was just reading that they are known and read of all men as one man even in Christ Jesus uh, when you get to Judges 20 verse 1 said that children of Israel gathered together as one man Ezra chapter 3 verse 1 said that likewise children of Israel gathered together as one man Ephesians chapter 2 uh, Christ builds us up as his workmanship as one man okay the twain becomes one i was just reading that did i answer your mark question that question in mark yeah. no, you got another one? question you talk about nations um oh, let's see here yeah it says in Psalms. This is the time of the judgment. Time of the judgment of the nations. Did you know all nations are going to go to their own people yep. and to their own land? He's going to bring a separation of nations. I which, have Mark which is an end time prophecy. You agree with that? Yup. Yeah. You might need a bigger Bible. I got some. All right. That small writing, you can see. Yeah, I can see it. Let's see here. I got marked somewhere. I don't know where is that. Talks about nation. I was going to speak on it earlier. I didn't want to interrupt. Let's see here. Yeah, you waited patiently. I saw you. That's why I'm talking to you. Yeah, we're in the end times. America is circling the drain. And uh, as they're circling the drain, God is raising up an army. He's raising up an army that the American military cannot take down. Even Russia can't take them down. The, the, the king of London can't take them down. These men are gods, as I was telling Love these gods that he's raising up uh, will not meet them as a man. Isaiah 47 and 3. We're gonna look like men, but we're not gonna be men, we're gonna be gods. Psalm 66 He rules by his power, his power for forever. The gods behold the nations, let, let not the rebels exalt themselves, Selah. Say that, read it again. He ruled. Where, where you at, first of all? 
Psalm 66, chapter Six, 7. 66, 7. He rules by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Right. Let not the rebels exalt themselves, Selah. Right. Now in Psalm 55. That's, well, let me first oh, I tell his testimony. Yeah. When I was in that mom's, her, our garage caught on fire. Uh -huh. And with my mom's husband being a Leo, Psalm 57. So you you deep in astrology, huh? Yup. Psalm 57. But it hadn't done you any good. Psalm 57, chapter uh, chapter 57, verse 4. And my soul is among lions, and I lie even among them. They are set on fire, even the sons of men, who teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Yeah. My, my mom's husband being a Leo, our garage caught fire. What does it say? Among the lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire. Well, check this out. In 1 Peter chapter 5, it says, The devil walketh about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Okay. And then when you get to Psalms 10, they crouch down as a lion. The wicked does. So, the wicked, that's referring to the... There's, there's times where the scriptures refer to the wicked as being lions. But you know Jesus Christ is the, the ultimate lion. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Right? And uh, he's the strongest of all lions. So are his mighty men. Just like David had mighty men. His army were mighty men. Uh, Valiant, valiant men, and uh, so the army that the Lord's raising up today, or likewise, just like King David. You know, when you get to Zechariah 12, verse 7 uh, through 10, it talks about uh, in these last days we will be like King David, our father, even as God. See, we're gonna be even as God, and so that's how we're gonna take the nation by force you know we're not going to meet them again as a man we're going to deal with them as gods spiritual power man you remember when they came to arrest jesus christ yep. and uh what happened to him remember they fell backwards yep. that spiritual power they tried to crucify him and they, they fell yeah so uh likewise we're going to rule with this spiritual power like this power the sword of his mouth we're going to rule uh, with a rod of iron. We're going to rule over the nations. You got revelations in there? Or you just got New Testament? Or you just got Old Testament? You ain't got revelations? I do. Well, in Revelations uh, 2.26, it says, And they that overcome shall rule the nations with a rod of iron. Okay? And uh, Israel is God's rod of iron. And guess who Israel's rod of iron is? The Lord. The I Lord. got I got iron, iron rods in my back. See, the Lord is our portion, and He is our portion. You With know? thy rod, and, and I'm talking about the children of Israel. I, I forget how it goes, but uh, Jesus is thy rod and, and thy savior. Now you talk about rod and thy staff. Thy staff. You talking about Psalms 23? And he's all right. That's what I just said. He's all right. And I got and iron. I stand. That's good. Doc, doc just told me I never walk again day in my life. They told you that? And, well, I, I took steps. You took steps recently? I got iron, iron uh, rods in my bag. And it's talking was, was about. Was that from you flipping over in the truck? Yup. Man. And with God's staff, my my walker. Uh -huh. You talk about his um, iron rods? I got iron rods in my back. For me to walk, I used to uh, walk through. Now, before and that, I, according to your tattoo, maybe your tattoos don't tell it, uh, tell the whole story. But were you were you doing a lot of wrongdoing? You was doing a lot of wicked stuff, right? I was. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see how, what you call it, karma. You see how karma got. God, God sat me down. Yeah. Gave me a second yeah. chance, and well, pretty much. I'm, I'm, I'm learning, but I'm learning. But that's what you're calling it, a second chance. Yup. 
but you you saying that in your own understanding because again you got the cigarette and you still live in the sinner's lifestyle. Yeah. So uh, God says in uh, Isaiah 55, He tells His people, He said, "Your ways are not my ways, your thoughts are not my thoughts. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts." And He said, "I was sent forth." Uh, my word, he said, and it shall not return to me void. Okay. Now that word is Jesus Christ. When he, that was a prophecy. And he said that, uh, that his word will, will bring forth fruit unto him, which is righteousness and praise, you know, before the nations. And uh, so that's his thoughts. He said, let the wicked man uh, forsake his thoughts. You know. And the Lord said he will pardon the children of Israel. He said, let them return in Isaiah 55. He said, let them return unto me. So that was only one people that was with him that he scattered. And he's talking to those same people throughout the whole entire Bible. He's telling us to return to him. Jesus Christ was that power of returning to him. It says in John 1, as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God in John chapter 1. And uh, that's how we return to him as sons of God. We can't return to him as sinners. We can't return to him uh, as in mortal form or in the form of that natural man. All these things are death to him. All these things he hates. You know, that's why he sent Jesus. And he's destroyed that old creation. Jesus is the destroyer of the Gentiles. It says in, what is that, Jeremiah 4, 7? He's a destroyer of the Gentiles. Okay. So uh, he he's came to make his people a new creation. It says any man in Christ is a new creation. Former things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Those are the ones that take on... Uh, the life of Christ, the mind, right? The Bible says in Philippians 2, 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who what? Being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. So only the brothers and sisters that have that mindset. Because it said the head of the, the man is Christ, the head of the woman is Christ. So that's saying the woman's head is Christ. Because of that man is Christ. He's not talking about the natural because when you get to 1 Corinthians 15, it says the first man is of the earth, earthly. It says the, the, the last Adam is from heaven, the Lord from heaven. So that man, it says that his head is Christ, he becomes the Lord. So that woman looking unto her Lord, that's Christ. So she's supposed her likewise become the image of Christ. That's when you get to Genesis 1, God made them male and female. And it said, in the image of God, may he him, male and female, created he them. They're supposed to be in the image of God. But again, those are the Jews, Hebrews. All the other nations, this is not their portion. You know, because they had the earth. You know, they had Satan's kingdom. They had blessings and prosperities. And they were confederate, Psalms 83, verse 5. Four and five, they were confederate against the children of Israel. And and with that, buddy, I'm gonna take off. You a good listener, man. And uh, I think I answered all your questions, right? Yeah. And with that, I'm on roll.